Welcome to another Photoshop for Beginners tutorial. Today I want to show you how to make your own custom shapes, how to save your shapes, how to create layer styles and how to save them, and also how to create and actually how to save your own patterns. On the next uh, episode, on episode 11, I will show you how to work with all this um, shape uh, settings, the vectors and vectors elements, the pen tool and all that. So I will start um, working with the custom shapes. Here you can see a list of um, shapes but uh, if you select any of them you will see them all up here. So for this tutorial I will only use the pen tool. You can use any of these shapes here. I will only use the pen tool so select the pen tool from here. Make sure you have the shape layers option selected instead of the path and well you can create all sorts of abstract shapes with this so let's say I want to, to turn this into a into a custom shape and because I want to use it on another design later on so what you do is once you have your shape select the vector mask which is this one here and go to edit you have this option activated which says define custom shape if you don't see the, this option activated is because you didn't select the factor mask so once you select it go again to edit and you'll see it here and click there and you'll see just like when you make brushes you have this window here which asks you to give it a name and I'll call this whale because this <laughs> looks uh, like a whale to me anyways and if you click this icon here which is the custom shape tool uh, you will see that this shape is the one that I created and it's added to this list here. If you don't see this list you can click this icon here and choose uh, reset shapes. But if you want to make a, a new pack with only your designs you have to use the preset manager so click this icon go to preset manager click the f select the first one press the shift key and click on the last one so that you select all of them and you can delete them and only leave your shape and then you can continue making another shape um, let's make a, a shape like this and make this as a custom shape shape 2 and now if I go back to this list I see both of them here and then you can save this save shapes and you can save them on your desktop or wherever you want and that will be your your custom made pack of uh, shapes the same thing works for for patterns so let's if I want to make a pattern for example I can create a 5 pixels document for example and use the pencil tool and just create a new layer and just paint some squares like that and delete the background because if I were if I want to turn this into a pattern it will also save the background and I don't want that I want to have a transparent background so that I can apply this to any background without having that white background so I'll go to edit define pattern and I'll name this scan lines and so I'll create a new document and I will apply this pattern so that you can see how it looks I'll use a, a gradient to make a quick background use the radial one reverse and I'll get the pattern stamp tool and here you can see a few patterns that I made earlier so I'll create a new layer and paint with this pattern so this is the pattern that I created and I can invert this and use a soft light and that's 
that's how you make patterns. And again, you can use the same the same principle as with the shapes. You can use the preset manager. Get rid of all this shapes of all these patterns, sorry. And make your own and then go and save them. You can also create a pattern from a from a JPEG image and I'll show you how. I'll open a texture. Um, go here to textures and let's see this one for example. I can cut a piece of it like that. Go edit, copy. Uh, I could even turn uh, this into a into a pattern, the whole image, but I want a smaller one, a smaller part of it. I'll create a new document, paste the piece that I just copied, and go to edit, define pattern, and I'll call this wood pattern. And if I go back to the pattern stamp tool and I open that list, I see the three ones that I had, and this the one that I just made now. And this is probably not going to be a seamless pattern, but let's see. I'll fill this layer with white and let me try let me try that pattern, see how it looks. I'll paint it on a new layer. Well it actually looks pretty seamless to me. Well, except here. But it looks pretty nice, so that's that's how you make patterns. You can you can download lots of uh, textures from internet and turn them into patterns. So it's not really that complicated. And with the layer styles, it's just the same. I'll type uh, I'll type some text here and turn it black. And go into the layer style by double clicking here and I'll add some drop shadow maybe some stroke with red and what else we can add to this um, inner glow increase the size and make the color red for example let's add some texture to it as well, well I'm using the same pattern that I just created, so that's really cool. You can see how you can work with uh, with patterns and uh, and layer styles at the same time. Of course, you can add another pattern from here and just use the wood one and change the blend mode. Well, let's leave it to normal. So you can see how I used uh, two different patterns that I just made, and I used them on a on a custom um, layer style. So if I want to save this layer style so that I can use it on another wallpaper or if I want to give it to someone, you can click this button here, new style, and you can give it a name, pattern wood or something like that. You can also include the layer blend mode. So all these blend modes that you use here, you can uh, include those ones that you can you or, or you can leave them to the default but I will include them and click OK and click OK again and if you want to see the the preset manager for the styles you have to go to the window option to the window menu and go to layer styles here this this menu item and you'll have a list and this is my style and again go to preset manager select all the other styles and delete them just make sure you don't save this pack now because you will overwrite the, the original so let's create a new style so that we have two here and I will reduce the fill add another pattern I'll use the same wood pattern I'll give it some bevel and emboss and drop shadow and maybe some stroke and I'll create a new layer style and I'll call it wood 2 and click OK 
click OK and now I have both of them here. If I want to apply the other one, I just click on it and it applies the other style to the text. And now I can save this. Um, let's see where it go. And once once I have my styles, I can click this icon here and choose Save Styles. And I can give this a name and save them. One thing you, you have to know is that if you want to have those styles here on the list because you don't you can see that I don't have them here the ones that I just saved I saved them with the name custom styles they don't appear here you have to save them in the presets folder inside the inside the folder where you installed Photoshop there's a folder called uh, presets and inside that folder um, it's a it's a folder called uh, styles or layer styles or something like that and if you place that file that you just saved from your desktop if you put it in that folder it will appear here every time you open Photoshop I hope it was um, easy to understand it's just a matter of practice and it's one thing that I would and one advice that I would give you is that if you create a layer style that you like or if you, if you create a custom shape that you like always save them make uh, a pack of your own and always save your styles and shapes and presets because you never know when uh, when, you, when you can use them again so that's why uh, you have these options to save them so that's all for today on the next on the next episode as I said I will talk about the pen tool and I'll show you some advanced uh, settings uh, with the subtract and uh, all these options that you have here to create vectors and paths and stuff like that so thanks for watching and see you next time